Right, it is Monday. I hope you've had a good weekend. And in today's show, the Health is Wealth show, I'm talking to you about the accountability factor. So first up, if you're watching the replay, stick a hashtag replay in the comments. So I know you've seen this. And if you have any other questions while you're watching this, stick them down below and I'll hop on here later on and make sure that I answer all your questions. So how was your weekend? Let me know how your weekend was. What did you get up to? For me, we uh, it was half term. Well, my girl started half term middle of last week. So I've been uh, trying to entertain the girls, keep them amused. So a little bit of a cinema, a restaurant on Friday and uh, 10 pin bowling. So it's all been good fun. And uh, back to business now. We're being Monday, though. So the girls are actually trying to do some Halloween stuff downstairs. And I <laughs> shut the door. I said, right, I'm going live for the Health is Wealth show. So glad that you can join me. As I say, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, but before we get cracking, make sure you say hello if you're watching live. And like and share this video. If you're on Facebook, hit that like button. If you're on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. Say hello. I love to hear from you. And... Uh, see what you're doing. And I think part of these these videos, this uh, this show, if you like, is a little bit about today's topic because it's all about accountability. And I know there's a lot of you that tune into this and get that little bit of an extra boost, if you like, a little bit of extra accountability from myself. Like Dawn, who's just hopping on here, which Dawn is always on here. I can always rely on Dawn to hop in and say hello. And uh, it's all about that accountability. So if you're looking to lose weight, uh, try and improve your health, it definitely helps to have some form of accountability. If you look back to times in your life when you had the most accountability, you'll probably have been successful in some shape or form anyway. So if you look back to school, you had the teachers to keep you accountable. You had your parents to keep you accountable to make sure you're doing your homework. Okay, you had, uh, when when you're at work, your boss making sure that you're doing the tasks and the things that you should be doing. So that's that accountability that I'm talking about. And then when you look at your health and fitness, so many people don't have any accountability, just kind of wing it. And for a lot of people that are starting out, it really helps to have that accountability. Do you need it forever? Maybe not. I don't have anybody keeping me accountable right now. Um, My my health and my fitness is is in good shape, but I have had some business mentors, um, other entrepreneurs, even friends to to you know bounce ideas off and talk about uh, numbers and things like that. So it helps to have that accountability in all parts of your life. So making sure you have something in your life that keeps you accountable will definitely help you get long lasting results and at least give you that kickstart that you need. So if, let's say, for example, you have 50 plus pounds mm-hmm. to lose. That's going to take you a considerable amount of time to lose all of that. So you need something or somebody to keep you accountable along the way. Otherwise, it's very easy to lose your motivation and to get sidelined and get out of the rhythm and fall back into old habits. So don't go it alone, okay? There's going to be times that are tough over the weeks, months, and uh, and even a year or, or two if you've got a huge amount of weight to lose. There's going to be some tough times, so it helps to be able to share your progress with somebody, keep them updated on your numbers, on your stats. How many inches have you lost? How many pounds have you lost? Make sure you're sharing all that data because there are studies that have shown that the more you share, the better it is for your results. So trying to wing it and, you know, if things aren't going right, bearing your head in the sand, that is a no-go, okay? That's just the recipe for disaster and things won't go well if you do that. So sharing is caring and it's, it's caring for yourself. And um, if if you really and truly want to lose the uh, the inches from your waistline and and really boost your health long term, make sure you get some form of accountability. So, for the people that work with me, we have um, we have my flat belly boot camp and the VIP coaching stuff that we do. And every Sunday we have a Super Sunday. So just yesterday this went out, and Super Sunday is all about getting your meal plans in, so what you're eating for the week. And what your exercise plan is for the week. And everybody gets it in. They jump inside our Facebook group and start posting what they're doing for the week. And that's a form of accountability right there. Also, people that work with me would get each week, track their stats. So what's going on with the inches, what's going on with the weight, and photos. So that's another form of accountability. 
and just being in a group or even with some friends, you know, having some form of accountability with your friends. I know lots of people have workout partners when they go to the gym. So that's some form of accountability. So make sure you have something there that will help you and give you perhaps a little bit of, or share the wins, you know, they encourage each other, but also somebody who can give you a little bit of tough love every now and again, because if you're left to your own devices, it often doesn't, doesn't happen. You might start with the best intentions, but once you get past month one, two, three, then that's when things start to become a little bit tricky. And it's a case of, right, I need someone on my, on my, on my case, if I'm not doing what I should be doing. So just something for you to think about there. If you need some accountability, get in touch with me and uh, we'll see if we can help you out. And I guess one of the other things I should mention here is uh, 15th of November is my next challenge. I, I do these five-day challenges completely free. All you have to do is show up. But on the 15th of December is the next one. And if you're interested in joining the next challenge, if you want to flatten your belly without any crazy diets or killer workout routines, then check out my next challenge. And all you have to do to find out about that is comment down below with challenge and I'll send you the details. I'll, uh, I'll ping it off to your your messenger inbox and you'll get a little the link and you click on that link and you'll check it out if it's for you. Check out all the comments from all the previous people, all the previous ladies that have done it before. And you can see if it's something that you would like to do too. And that's, again, a form of accountability there. Get you on the straight and narrow over the five days and then you can go off and try and get results on your own from there. So I hope you've had a good weekend and your Monday is starting off solid. And if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments. I'll hop back on here later on and we'll see what we can do for you. All right, so take care for now and I'll see you next time, which by the way is Thursday. I do these shows every Monday and Thursday at one o'clock UK time. And if you want to subscribe to the shows, you can also comment down in the comments with subscribe and I'll send you the link to that as well. All right, so enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great time wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.